all, upon all our situations this year, 2017. God has given us the free will. God has given us the, is it always with you? Can someone influence it? Yes. Can someone influence it? Yes. Can someone control it for you? Yes. Can someone do it for you? Yes. No. Can someone do it for you? No. Yes, as a man. Yes, no. 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 Having See, God is so wise. God is the wisest. He gave us the most powerful blessing. He gave it to Adam. And God tested it. He's a robot. Adam is not operated by remote control. God has given man free will. And that free will enables you and me to be positive in the most negative situation. You didn't hear that. That our biggest God's blessing in our lives, which is our free will, enables us to control how we would manage how we would respond, how we would answer, how we would see things happening in our lives for 2017. I started you all with, some will change. I started you all with, some will not change. Situations will change. Everything will change around us. But the way we look at it will always be in our control. Negative things this year, bring it on. Amen. Because I want to see it positively. <laughs> Negative situation perceived positively can bring positive results. You believe that? So, Mga kapatid, it may not be the biggest bombshell that you receive from him, from any of my sermons, but this is true 2017. I want to see things the way God has put it in my heart. I want to see things the way God has promised it to be. I want to see things. See, I didn't say that I want, I want it to happen. No, because some may not happen. Some negative things may happen. But I want to see it the way how God promised it to be. How can that be, Pastor? Don't we need God? Yes, we do. He already promised us the biggest promises. Now it's up to us to perceive it positively. It's up to us to believe on it. It's up to us now to apply it in our lives. You see, when that woman in Mark chapter 5, having the issue of the blood for 12 years, he went to all the doctors and the Bible said he did not improve. She did not improve. She didn't, she didn't uh, 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 receive healing, but she grew worse. She was about to go home and die. But she said, when the Bible says, she said, she believed in her heart, in her mind. She said, if I will touch the hem of his garment, I will be healed, right? You know the story, it preaches many times. So, she put the effort of following Jesus, though she has been very weak and about to die, she used her last strength to touch the hem of Jesus' garments. And when she touched it, the Bible says, she was healed. She was healed. Now let me ask you a question. Did, did Jesus pray for her? Did Jesus lay, her hand, lay his hand on her? No. <laughs> Actually, Jesus, now this is not a disrespect to Jesus, to our Lord. He didn't do anything. 
He was just walking. He was just walking. But here is a lady who have a 2017 positive faith and positive perspective like the hopers. Amen. Amen. She said, I may be going home to die. No, she's not Australian. To die. I may be going home to die. Not tomorrow. I may be zero. But she said, I believe in my heart. I have heard it that this guy cures sickness. She touched the hand. Amen. Of Jesus is coming. The promises of God that we have just read and we have just seen, it's available for you and for me. Amen. Be like that woman Amen. that you will exert all your faith, all your positive perspective to grab and experience what God has already promised in your life for 2017. Amen? Amen. Amen. Let's give God a big love offer. last year before, before Christmas was, when I was watching TV and uh, watching the local news, uh, lo local news in the Philippines. And I saw this uh, news clip. Because of the typhoon in the Philippines, Nina, you know that, it ravaged many parts of the Philippines. Christmas season. And you know how Christmas season is big time for Filipinos, right? Yes. You go to the Philippines, September 1, it's already Christmas in the malls. <laughs> huh? <coughs> there always is a celebration for Filipino family during Christmas night or Christmas Eve. Uh, Noche Buena. Queso. Okay, and <coughs> see. So always yan, noche buena. Kahit nga, medyo noche. Di ba? Chris, uh, New Year's Eve to New Year's Day, dapat maraming bilog. Dapat trese. Sabi ng tendera sa divisorya, kung bumili ka ng orange, dapat pertin, dapat bilog. Swerte daw yan. Ha? Nagbebenta, year of the horse. Yung daw horse, nakanganga kasi. Yung daw pag nga, blessing daw yun. <laughs> Look at how faith can be very simple. So this lady, because of the storm, it wiped out their whole house. Whole house wiped out. They're saying in a relocation, uh, 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 evacuation center. And this is what this lady said. She was smiling. Tayo minsan minsan lang naman pero ito wipe out yung bahay her whole house wiped out food, clothes, everything wiped out they're all in their uh, evacuation center with just barely their clothes but she was smiling you know Filipinos are very smiling <laughs> she was smiling. And this is what she said. She said, Oh, Mama yang gabi, sa noche buena namin, iinom na lang kami ng kape. Kape. It's not even Starbucks. Kape. But she said, I, pero, I am very thankful because my family is complete. Amen. 
Yeah. House wiped out. Everything wiped out. But she was saying, I am still glad. I will be, we will be drinking coffee for dinner tonight. But I am so glad our family is still intact. None of them were killed. None of them got hurt. Positive perspective. Positive perspective. There can always be something positive even in the most negative. And it's all how we look at it. It is all how we look at it. How do you want your 2017 to look? There you go. And it's not by chance. Ano ka mo si? Naku, pastor. Sana. Kamusta nung 2017? Oo, pastor. Hindi lang ang hil ka sana. Ganun na hindi ka. Ganun na ang hil. Naku, sana naman ang aking total. You want it to be good? You want it to be blessed? You need God's promises. It is all there. It's all about our faith. It's all about our faith. Chapter 5, verse 4, another verse in the Bible I like. Every child of God, who's a child of God, they raise your hand. There you go. Hey. Every child of God defeats this evil world. And we achieve this victory by being a member of Hope for the World. Yeah. No, 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 no. For every child of God defeats this evil world. It's nice to hear. <laughs> And we achieve this victory through our faith. Amen. Tell the neighbor, have faith, man. Amen. Say the man there. It's faith. Faith. It is always in our control. We can always grow it. Hello? We can always mature in faith. It's all in us. See, God has given you. You and me, the most powerful weapon, man. Just need to use it. Just need to wake up one 2017 morning, Sunday morning, inside this church and say, I have it, Pastor? Yes. And we don't need great faith. We only need simple faith. Childlike faith. Amen. That's what God requires. Another verse. Next slide. Again, I have a lot of favorite verses, but this is one of my top ten. <laughs> top ten. <laughs> but thanks be to God who gives us the victory. We'll give, we'll be giving. But thanks be to God who gives us the victory through who? But thanks be to God who gives us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. Therefore, my beloved brethren, be steadfast. Being steadfast is not a decision, it's a being. Be immovable. Always abounding in the work of the Lord, knowing that your labor is not in vain. So victory has been prepared. John chapter 10, verse 10. You all know that, you all know that verse, right? John 10, 10. Yes. See, I tell you, you need to grow your faith. John 10, 10, you know that? Kaya sa mga bisita, ho, eh. John 10, 10, 13 years, 14 years in church natin, you may pala. John 10, 10, by the stripes of Jesus, you know that? Oh, yeah. Oh. Yung pala yung pastor, sabi, yan din ang hula ako, pastor. Mali! John 10, 10, but my God will supply all your needs. Mali rin! Ay, ako lang sa kreto, 
It has been there. It is always there. The promises of God is there. It is up to us to believe, apply, and experience. Just like that woman, I may not, I, I'm, I, she decided I'm not going home to die. Eh? I'm done, I'm not done yet. Hey. And Jesus is my solution. 2017, what would you like it to be? Jesus says, let it be done according to your faith. There you go. Let it be done according to your faith. Because it has already been promised. But when you go to the restaurant, the menu is there. All you need to do is order it. And the best thing is, it's all paid for. Ano ang pinakamasarap na pagkain? Yung and Jesus paid it all. Di ba napakasarap ang tulingin? Let's be glad we can offer it. Di ba napakasarap? Pagbigay sa inyo ng bill na katatak. Fully paid. What would you do? Sayang, sana more than point. See? This book contains all the promises of God. And Jesus said, it's already been. All you need to do is believe and claim. Believe and claim. I have five minutes. Next slide. So what is your New Year's resolution? Aside from going to the gym? <laughs> Aside from losing weight, which is the most popular, still undisputed, <laughs> number one New Year's resolution of all times to go to the gym and you will do it for a week. Now let me suggest to you a New Year's resolution. You want real change? We want 2017 to be a positive change. Jesus said, let it be done according to what you believe. Let it be done according to your faith. To increase my faith in the Lord. And possess a positive perspective upon all my situations in life. 2017. Is that you? Amen. Is that you? Huh? Is that true? Amen. I want to increase my faith. I want to possess a positive perspective. Can we do that? Can you do that? Increase your faith? Can you have a positive perspective? So, now, these things are all possible. We can do it. We can. Actually, some of you are already doing it. Reversely, some of our faith are low, some of our perspective are negative. It's simple. Just reverse it. Increase your faith now by reading the Bible. And possess a positive attitude. How can we have a positive perspective? By looking and depending upon the promises of God. Does God, answer me this question, does God have a promise? For every need, yes. for every situation, yes. for every negative tragedy. Yes. That is true. Last year, some of you experienced death in your family. It's a tragedy. Can we be positive there? Of course. We have been very positive there. It is through those situations. We are thankful that there is eternal life in Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 Even in the most tragic, negative event in our lives, we can always find something 
we give thanks to God for that. We can always be positive. Can we do it? Can this be our New Year's resolution? To increase my faith? How can we do it? By coming to church. Once a month. Uh, increase my faith. Positive perspective. I'm down to my two slides. Next slide, please. To the youth, this is my message. And I learned this only when I was in the Philippines last month. Hashtag. Dream big. Hope big for 2017. Amen? Huh? Hello? 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 Up to now, I don't know what this hashtag means. Pero, since I have the youth in me. Hello? We always have the youth in us. Hello? Let's join them by speaking their word. Hashtag. Kinakain lang yan sa McDonald's breakfast. Ahas brown ba yun? Hashtag. Wanna dream big? You wanna hope big? For 2017? Increase our faith? Positive perspective? And my last slide. Then we can eat. The lechon is already there. 2017 is going to be big because we are serving a big God. Hello! Hello! Is it not big? You want 2017 to be big? Are you hoping big? Are you dreaming big? You cannot do it by sitting down. Let us all stand. Hallelujah. Let's give God a big clap offering. Come on. Now I have another slide. No, 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 this is Sana. My last slide. Ayan na pala. Bring it on. Happy New Year. Greet your fellow Christians happy. Happy New Year!
Father God, we thank you. Because you said you will never leave us, you will never forsake us. 2016 was good, but 2017 is a lot better. 2017 will be bigger. 2017 will be awesome. 2017 will be greater, bigger, and bigger, and bigger, because you are of God. our faith. Give us a desire to come closer to you even more. Let us depend on you 100% every day in our lives. And Father, I pray that you cause us to look at things differently. Some of the things around us may still remain like that since time immemorial. But we can change the way we look at them this time, 2017. We can change the way how we look at things, 2017. And we want to look it from your eyes, from your promises.